What up, fuckheads? I'm North God, and today I'm pumped. I am going to review Miss May I's latest track called Shadows Inside. I don't know the exact date when it was released. Oh, May 12th. So what, how many days ago was that? Four days ago? Um, I actually haven't listened, listened to it, uh, so this should be fun. Um, I'm going to try my best. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there non bias I personally love Miss May I. I've seen them one time, and holy fuck, they put on a show. They're heavy as fuck. I've seen them at Studio 7 in Seattle. Uh, yeah, they put on a show, and uh, I love all their shit that they release. So, I mean, I hate everything. That is a fucking good track. Lost in the Grade, that was the latest one uh, before Shadows Inside. So I believe this is coming up. Uh, this release is title track Shadows Inside. This is going to be on their latest album, which I believe is is Shadows Inside, but... Let's see how this one goes, dude. I'm pumped. Let's get it going. All right, here we go. Oh, man, I'm stoked. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Miss May I? That's totally Miss May I. Just gotta pause it real quick, man. D oh, you already know my dude. You already know my reaction for the intro. Holy fuck! And then what's cool is they keep the same style. I've always loved Miss May I's uh, courses, or maybe this is a pre-course. But anyways, the, going into their courses, they always fucking hook me. Obviously, it's a hook, but they always hook me with the highs and the lows. And I will say one thing right now: Levi's fucking vocals compared to Lost in the Gray. Levi's vocals already just in the intro are fucking hitting me in the face like a brick. It straight up feels it, it's it it reminds me that intro right there reminds me of something you would hear from Suicide Silence, not the latest Suicide Silence, old Suicide Silence. Uh, dude, wow. Let's keep it going. Yeah, fucking Levi, dude. Oh, that's cool. Just cut it. Just cut it. Again, I've always been a fucking softy when it comes to Miss May I's courses, and here we go. You're seeing exactly why. Their course is fucking, for me at least, being a death metal, metalcore, whatever, heavy, heavy fucking metal, it doesn't even matter. Just a metal fan, I appreciate their courses so much because... I connect with it. I love their highs and their fucking lyrics that they write. It's incredible. So I really, I'm in try, I'm trying to listen and listen to the lyrics as well, since this is the first time I've listened to it. But I'm also taking in that high by the backup. I love it. The backup vocals. I fucking love it. Wow, the guitar, the fucking guitar, man. The lead is just both of them. Both the guitars. Oh my god. Fucking incredible. That double bass is just fucking. Everyone loves those breaks too. Fucking uh, da, 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 da. those chugs. Da, 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 da. What triplets? Quadruplets? I don't even know how many fucking chugs are in there. But everyone, lo you already know what I'm talking about. If you're a metal fan, you fucking love those triplets and, and quadruplets. Da, da, da. 
that, 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 that. Oh my god! And another thing before we continue. Miss May I always brings the heat, man, when it comes to they have that break and then chugs da, 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 the pre course and then fucking leave out with just the raw fucking vocal talent that he has. Dude, I incredible. Fuck, man. Into the course. Good course, man. I really like it. Damn. Here we go, breakdown. Pre-breakdown, solo, killer. Killer solo. That right there, when you have the shadows inside, that part, you know, where the fucking solo's going on, and I feel like every genre, rock and roll, fucking every genre does that, where you got the solo, and then you gotta, like, repeat the fucking hook line, shadows inside, I feel like, leave the fucking, leave that hook line out, man, just fucking let the solo rip, you know? Incredible. The chanting, though, the chanting can go on. Here we go, breakdown. It's gonna be a heavy fucking breakdown. Here we go. Damn. It's gotta be a breakdown, right? No breakdown? Oh no, they, they swapped it out for the solo. Okay. No breakdown, sorry. Damn. Alright. And then those constant, those that fucking bass, that double bass. I love that. Damn. Wow, fuck. Alright. Damn, that was my first listen to Shadows Inside by Miss May I. And fucking, I got a lot to take away. Because first, that intro, that gave me fucking chills. I don't know if the camera caught it, but the intro gave me chills completely. Miss May I's intros have always fucking got me going like that's how that's how i got into miss may i was they're fucking i don't even have to hear the rest of the song their intro is like oh fuck dude i hate everything i mean any any song you come relentless chaos like they it they want you to be they suck you in they want you to be sucked in and that's what i really appreciate about a band like miss may i is they don't fuck around when they're writing music they don't just do it half ass they fucking they write some epic shit this song, the the course, I, I love the course. The course is, it's just like all their other courses. They 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 sick they sick their fucking teeth into you, and you really uh, you you just get hooked. Like I'm fucking just humming it. Shadows inside. No, really though, man. I, I like this a lot. I fucking Lost in the Gray. Eh. I never I didn't do a review on Lost in the Gray, but I am fucking stoked to hear what else they come up with this year. That fucking song, man. And again, Miss May I never let me down. I, I, I was going into this. I was trying to go into this review non-bias. And fucking, again, they didn't let me down with their fucking, their production, their writing skills, the fluidity of this band. They are a fucking epic band, and I love them. God, I, sh I need to see them more often. Fuck. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Fucking, if you like what you saw or if you didn't like what you saw, let me know in the comments below. Fucking give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, obviously. I had fun today, man. That's fucking awesome. That's a, that's a good song. All right, motherfuckers. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>